Welcome to today's episode of Bible Truth for Busy People, your quick way to grow in your understanding of God and His Word. In this series, we're discussing Christian prayer. Would you like to be able to pray in a way where God always answers with a yes? Wouldn't we all, right? Watch this video and find out what kind of prayer God always says yes to. 1 John 5, 14 through 15 states, Now this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of Him. According to this verse, if we pray something that is God's will, we are assured to get both a hearing and a positive response. A yes is guaranteed. The Bible has many passages that tell us what God's will is. When we begin to pray that these things will happen in our lives, the power of God will surely accomplish it in God's timing. Let's look at five things that God says are His will. Number one, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, Romans 12, 2. It's God's will that you not be crushed into the world's mold, that your mind would be renewed, and that you would know what God's will is for your life. Number two, for this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, and that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 6. It is God's will that you be sanctified, that you would be growing in Him and set apart for Him, and that you be sexually pure, keeping sex for the exclusive marriage relationship between one man and one woman. Number three, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It's God's will that you are joyful when things are going your way and when they're not. It's God's will that you have an ongoing conversation with Him throughout your day. And it's God's will that you are thankful. As we cultivate the attitude of gratitude, we become a much happier person. Number four, for this is the will of God, that by doing good, you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free, yet not using your liberty as a cloak for vice, but as bondservants of God. 1 Peter 2, 15 through 16. It's God's will that you have the reputation for doing what is right, so that foolish people can't say anything against you. And number five, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 3-4 It is God's will that people will come to a saving knowledge of Jesus and repent of their sins. We should persevere in our prayers for people to come to Christ. There are other things that we know from the Bible to be God's desire. As we read a passage of scripture, it's a good practice to pray something like this. Lord, I read this command in your word. Enable me to do it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Without a doubt, it is God's will to develop righteous character in his children. So we can ask God to change us with a certainty that he will indeed transform our fleshly attitudes. We can also pray, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh, and so that I will have wisdom. Lord, forgive me for the evil I have done. All of these prayers have a certainty of God's approval. That's it for today. See you next time on Bible Truth for Busy People.